Hey, man, you know who it is, man. I hope y'all does, man. Look, man, feel me? We back at the game. Now, video for me is new subscriber. I'll fuck with you. Old subscriber, I'll fuck with you for me. Like the video for me. Watch it all the way through. You gonna learn, sir. That's the fact. What is you talk about? Gangster. But look, man, whole time. Today, we're gonna talk about the reason we go through ups and downs in life, my nigga, whole time. Bro, the reason you go through ups and downs, my nigga, because, bro, life itself doesn't care. You gotta understand that shit. Life, L I F. E, bro, he doesn't care. She doesn't care. Whatever it is does not care. Because my nigga, life is life, bro. You know what I'm saying? This is why they call it life in prison. Like, yo, you go to get sentenced to life in prison. Because, bro, no matter wherever you go, nigga, you're going to have trials and tribulations throughout your life, bro. My nigga, you could be up a million dollars right now, right? You could just look like this is how crazy, this is how crazy life is, bro. Always use this example. Right? You could have been struggling, poor, broke, you know what I'm saying? Your mom in poverty, people's in poverty, you know what I mean? Y'all be having a penny pinch and pain handle for motherfucking McDonald's sandwiches and shit whole time, right? You were just in the slum, boy. You come from the trenches in this bitch room. Hold that whole time. Feel me? Everybody drugged out, feel me? All type of shit, you know what I mean? You the only nigga in your family and shit who got a clear, sober mind and shit whole time, right? And this is life. This is your life. This is your reality, you know what I'm saying? That This is your 3D matrix that you're living in, you feel me? This is what you got brought into, my nigga, whole time, right? Boom. Now, you get this one little, you know what I'm saying, five dollars, and you go play the lottery and shit. You play the mega millions and shit. You know what I mean? The jackpot's ten million in that bitch, right? Boom, you playing this motherfucker, you know, like, man, you pie in your head like, but you did it so many times that you like, man, I ain't gonna probably win, but you always held this little hope of luck, you know what I'm saying? This like little piece of luck you always had, you know what I mean? This little bit of faith. You know what I'm saying? You always prayed to God before you did it, you know what I mean? Like, yo God, can you bless you with this, you know what I'm saying? Da da da, right? And you did it, right? This was a Monday, right? It come back Friday. Boom, your ass, yo, LBR, you hit the mugging millions. I'm in this bitch like, what? Nah, stop playing me, yo. Y'all niggas is wildin', bro. What am I dad? You're wildin', bro. You're wildin', feel me? Because whole time, nah, that wasn't me, bro. I ain't hit that shit. Nah, they like, nah, boy, your ass hit that shit, gangster. Now the people for that you went did a lottery ticket for, they calling your ass up. Yo, yo LBR, nigga, yo, come back, bro, gangster. Woo, woo, woo. Nigga, you hit that motherfucker. Woo, woo, I'm like, oh, shit, for real? Bozai? Fuck the <laughs> Stupid ass, like, target neutralized. <laughs> target down. Tango down. <laughs> Stupid ass. I really hit these niggas. Target neutralized. Stupid ass. <laughs> so I understand this shit, right? Boom. Right? So now I go pick up. The, I go I go get the ticket and shit. Boom, boom, right? Now I go down to the thing. My mom happy for me. Everybody happy for me. And the family happy for me and shit. They're like, yo, man, we finally get out the hood. Da, da, da. Now we can finally start, I mean, living in the motherfucking shelter homes and shit. Now we can finally live in nice houses and all this good shit, right? Boom. I'm telling you, this is this is a story, but look how look how crazy life is, right? So all this shit's happening, right? Boom. Right? So you go down to the people and shit, you get this, you mean you get I mean obviously gonna tax that motherfucker. So say you get like five million and shit, boom. Now you going back home, you get the five million and shit. You like yo mom, hey yo, hey yo, pops, hey yo, hey yo, my my nigga, hey yo, hey woo woo, right? But now you come back, right? And everybody looking at you all sad and shit. Right? And you like, why everybody looking at me sad? Nigga, I just hit a million dollars. What the fuck? Like, five million, ten million dollars, what the fuck? But the thing about it is, my nigga, let's just say your people burnt down in a motherfucking fire in that same shelter that y'all was just living in that same day. It was a big fire, and nobody could get out, nobody could escape, and all your people, everybody in your family that you was living with, you know what I mean, going through the struggle, the poverty with, they all died. Now, your happiest day, look at, do you see how sad that is? Your happiest day in life turned into your saddest day in life. You just got all this money for your people. You was hype. You was doing this. You was thinking about how you was going to spend it. You was thinking about how you going to go to the roof, Chris, with your mom. How you going to eat all this good ass food, buy your house, do all this good things, right? But now you come back to these people and now they're gone. You see what I'm saying? But my nigga, that's some sad shit, right? <laughs> and now you got to live with that, bro. That's some sad ass shit. But understand, bro. This is how life, bro. Life doesn't give a damn, boy. Life does not care, bro. Life gives you ups. And now, uh, that bitch get you up. <laughs> and that uh, stupid ass. Bro, life is like a mountain, boy. Like, on God, bro. It really is a whole entire mountain, bro. You got to understand this shit, bro. Life is not no simple shit. There's no colder key to life, my nigga. Like, yeah, people got, you know what I mean? Some people crack the Da Vinci Code and shit, Pandora's box. Like, you know what I mean? By having the light coats, like, oh, the grass is greener on the, the grass isn't greener on the other side. And uh, treat people the way you want to be treated. You know what I mean? Because one thing that's real about life is karma. 
What you do to somebody will come back to you. That's that's one thing I could say as facts, my nigga. I don't give a fuck how much you don't believe in karma, how much you don't believe in the law of attraction. Nigga, whatever you do to somebody, it will come back to you. It might not come back in the same exact way, but it will come back to you eventually. I understand that shit. So if you out here sliming, being poo shiesty and shit, sliming niggas for their chain and all this goofy ass shit, you think your chain ain't going to get slimed? No, boy, they going to slime your little dumb ass on folks. Boy, you think this shit is a game, boy? What am my mother they going to do that? Nigga, what? Bro, so understand this shit, bro. So, my nigga, you can't be in here, bro, thinking that life is just, oh, yeah, man. Why why is life going so good? And then, Or why is life going so bad? Ooh. Because, my nigga, I understand. Life is life. life. Like I just told you, life doesn't care. It doesn't. It's life. You're supposed to deal with this shit, adapt, and, you know what I mean, overcome with trials and tribulations, my nigga. Understand that shit, bro. That's all life is about, bro. Is adapting, overcoming, and stepping over this shit, bro. Because, you know why? At the end of the day, what it's going to do is make you a better, what, person, my nigga. So understand that shit, bro. This is why life come up and down. Boy, this shit's like the bizarre white motherfucker Six Flags or some shit. This motherfucker be going like these. This bitch be going like a motherfucker look like the DNA. You know the DNA symbol be like these and shit. Have all these curries in this bitch nigga the whole time. Because, bro, life don't give a damn. <laughs> you got to understand that shit. You could probably be going crazy. You be <clears throat> going crazy. This is probably the best girl in your city, bro. You beat her back up. Blur her tracks up, right? But damn, boy, you going crazy. But you fucked up. Know how you fucked up? <laughs> You went raw, dog, in that motherfucker. The whole time. You ain't in her shit. No. You had some pre in her shit. And guess what that pre in her shit did? It pre started your ass a kid. Fuck it, tomorrow. Now you got the kid started pack. Fuck is he talking about? <laughs> Gangster. And now, right? You just wanted to go crazy. Now she hit you with the, yeah, I'm not getting rid of it. What? Huh? Huh? Stupid. <laughs> huh? Nigga, what? <laughs> like that nigga Cheeky said in the earn it. Huh? Nigga, huh? Nigga, what? Hold on. Wait, rewind, rewind, press the pause button. Hold on. Did, did she just say that she's not. What? I'm not even your boyfriend. Panini, I'm not your boyfriend. <laughs> Stupid ass. But nigga, hold time. And look, now your goofy ass a whole pops, nigga. Now you a whole father out here. And you feel me? Because, you know why? Decisions you made in life, man. Life really is just all about decisions, bro. Understand this, bro. One decision you make could change your whole life, bro. It's like the butterfly effect. You know how, like, you could go in the future, and then if you take some shit from the past, you switch it around. You know what I mean? You change up the whole future. Now you in a whole apocalypse or some shit. How to be shown in the TV shows and shit. Like, it was a good life, and then they switched. Like, they took the hat off randomly on one nigga, and now it's just a whole apocalypse, and niggas is getting killed by aliens. You feel me? Because, bro, life is about decisions, bro. Decisions you make, bro, could change your life right now. This is what I try to tell people, bro, who's lemming lazy or, you know what I mean, who don't want to be successful, bro. It just take you to do one thing today, bro, and it will change your life forever, bro. You probably be bigger than me, feel me? But I'm the one that's giving you the energy, bro, to be, you know what I'm saying, as big as you could be, my nigga, whole time. Because I'm going to be big. I don't care. I'm going to be successful as hell, my nigga. Have mad money, bro. Mad everything, bro. Feel me? Gangster, bro. And mind you, still have a great relationship with who? God. Fuck you talking about. <laughs> so I understand that shit. So my nigga. Life is about decisions, bro. This is why life gives you ups. And then, hold on, she going up, and she sliding down. Hold on. <laughs> Gangs, the feel me? So understand that shit, bro. So this is what I'm trying to tell y'all, bro. You know what I mean? You can't get too attached to life, man. You got to be falling in love with the ups and downs, man. Because you're going to have a lot of ups, yeah. But you're going to have a lot of downs, my nigga. But understand, no matter the many times you were down, you're going to have some ups, my nigga. Like, you motherfucking Derrick Rose or some shit. You won't have ups, nigga. Like, bunny hops, nigga. You won't have ups, nigga. But then you won't have them downs, too. Gangsta, boy. Them downs, they might be really down. I'm talking about, like, down, boy. Like, nigga, down. <laughs> like, you feel me? But you can't let that defeat you, man. Because it's why? My nigga, it's life. We all got to go through it. Feel me? This is why you have old head, old head, OG type dudes. You know what I mean? They'll tell you about life. Because they went through it already, bro. But they're trying to save you. And look, that's a decision. They're saving you from going through the same thing they went through, my man. By them telling you they own life experiences. So you can take it, take heed, and you know what I'm saying, not replicate the exact thing that they did and do it better than them. You feel me? But a lot of people who's OGs or you know what I mean, older people in life, they won't even tell you the same mistakes that they made in a while because they want you to go through it in a while because of why they're depressed. They have what? Misery, man. And why I tell y'all, misery loves companies understand that shit crap in the bucket so that's what i'm trying to tell y'all bro 
that's how when I go through things or I learn something, I tell other people because I don't want nobody to, you know what I'm saying, be either ignorant or not knowing some shit the way I didn't know some shit. Or, you know what I mean? I went through some shit. I'd be like, man, I went, man, that shit's crazy. I mean, I messed this shit up. But yeah, man, you just do this, do that, that, that. You feel me? And then now that saved that person from going through that. You feel me? But that's the type of person I am, which you got to understand. Everybody's not you. So you got to understand that shit and turn that shit and realize that shit because life is life, bro. Nobody is you, bro. Understand that shit. So if you get mad with somebody don't do something the way you think they should have did it, it's because, bro, in a while, they're not you. So you're not going to do it the way you think you're doing it. You feel me? So understand that shit, my nigga. This is why life gives you ups and downs, my nigga. Understand that shit. But look, man, that's all I got to say for the video for Mr. Fat for me. You know what I'm saying? Like the video for me. Like the video for Mr. Fat. Subscribe now if you ain't subscribed for Mr. Fat. You know what I'm saying? Hit the notification bell to update or upload a new video. Fat for the month. You know what I'm saying? Um, follow me on Instagram at LBRDads, LBRDZ. It's a fat for me. What the fuck are you talking about for me? It's in the description box and the comments down below. It's a fat for me. I'm stuttering this shit. You know what I'm saying? Leave a comment about the video, how you feel about the video. It's a fat for tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? you watch the video all the way through, I fuck with you, my nigga. It's a fact. Join the LBR gang, no why? Because it's the gang. Like, fuck you talking about for me. But look, man, I'm making a video. I go around doing that shit. But until then, my nigga, you already know what I'm about to say. <laughs> I'm out with this bitch. Oh, bro.